I don't see, nor do I agree with everything that my favorite fighters say or do. Let's talk. I don't want to kill somebody Pull back for a, a little bit. Nah, I want a body on my record. Now, I want to see you fight, motherfuckers. I do. All right? I'm with you. I'm with you. As long as as long as you're trying to fight the great, the, your, or the, the, the best competition. Welcome to the graveyard. Click the link if you dance. Mary, you alive. I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard. You get your sources from clowns. So when you go to the ground, we're the Welcome to the graveyard. Click the link if you dance. Mary, you alive. I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard. You get your sources from clowns. So when you come around, we're the It was the best fight, the best. If you ain't with the moto, just click the link, bitch, and get buried like the rest. It ain't gonna work how you want it. These trolls already tried too many come but don't leave so if you hear you gotta die spitting straight facts these bitches crying cause they hate that the LDBC's the top topic bitch hate that we the best to bring the truth to these fans so why you hate I'm a laugh and keep counting these bands welcome to the graveyard click the link get the bands there you alive I'm prepared to welcome to the graveyard you get your sources from clowns so when you come around we don't hear you welcome to the graveyard click the link get you dead to there you alive I'm prepared to Welcome to the graveyard. So I tell you guys over and over and over again that I care about the best fighting the best. And a lot of people will come to me and constantly say, well, what about this? And what about that? And what about this? And what about that? Well, nine times out of 10, Everything that's brought to me is about the faces of boxing. Well, I told y'all who the faces of boxing are. So let's just talk about what I don't agree with. What I do agree with. What I don't see. What I do see. My number one favorite fighter in the sport of boxing is Deontay the Bronze Barber Wilder. I do not agree with everything he says. I do not agree with everything he does. But I rock with him. So regardless of what he says and regardless of what he does, whether I agree or disagree with it, I'm still rocking. I'm, we still riding. I don't have to agree with what my brother says. I don't have to agree with what my mother says. I don't have to agree with what anybody says. I don't have to agree with what they do. But they are who they are to me. Everybody's up in arms about Deontay Wilder, you know, um, depping it up with Tyson Fury. Do I agree with that? No, I don't agree with that. No. At all. I'm not him. I'm not in his mind. I don't know what happened. He did not, he wasn't expecting no motherfucking Tyson Fury to be right there. He was going about his business. He is a naturally good dude. He was there for business, not trying to mess up his business. At all. Now, we all look at this and say, oh, well, if I was there, I, but you're not there. But let's just see. What would BFTB do if I was there? I would have looked at him and just kept walking. I looked at him, I would have seen him, I would have been like, and then kept walking. That had just been that. Now, if Deontay Wilder would have did that, now that's me, that's what I would have did. But if Deontay Wilder would have did what I would have did, they would have been like, oh, look at him. He's a sore loser. Still, see? So it, it's, he was damned if he does and damned if he doesn't. It didn't matter what he did in that scenario. It didn't matter. It didn't matter. There's motherfuckers that just don't like him, and they're going to find some type of way to go at him for whatever it is. I don't care who you are. You just don't like the man at all. Don't like him. You put yourself in his shoes, or this is what I would have did. I, I would have did this, or I would have said this, or I would, but you are not him. You're not him. Do I agree with um, Deontay Wilder not fucking uh, putting out all the information against this man? I don't. I think he should have. I know he has it. I know for a fact he has it. I think he should have. That, but that's me. That's what I think. I'm not him. 
he clearly is doing it for whatever reasons he's doing it for. But it's crazy though. Somebody else put some shit out there like that. And, oh, look at this guy, look at this guy, tell him what's going on behind closed doors. Man, this guy, I can't believe he's telling me, well, this is crazy, man. Look, if Deontay Wilder put out there, oh, look, he's a sword. It's not even, it doesn't matter. He's just lying. That's not even true. Nah, it don't matter, man. We're all, I, I don't care what he says. Is it? He's damned if he does and damned if he doesn't. So putting it out would make him seem like what? Now, again, me, I'd do it. If it was me, I'd do it. But I'm not him. I don't know his reasons for why he's doing it. But I do know it wouldn't matter if he did or didn't. It wouldn't matter. He would get shitted on. He'd get down. He'd get disrespected. It wouldn't matter. It would, don't matter what he did. The people that just don't like him, whether it don't matter who you are. If you don't like the man, you're going to find the negative in it. You're not going to look at it as a positive. You're not going to say, damn, well, Champ was over in Saudi Arabia. In a, in, a, in a country, you know what I'm saying, where he's got on the, the, the Muslim attire where they preach peace. The whole Muslim religion is about peace. He's got on that attire, but y'all just wanted him to swing on him. Y'all wanted him to do something outrageous. Oh, if I would have did this, I would have said, no, nah, I can't. No, I, I didn't say this man did all this to me. I'm not dapping him up. I, I'm not. That, that, but that's you. That's y'all. And again, I don't have to agree with it. I don't have to understand why he did it. I know he has the proof. I know he has the facts. And he is doing it the way he wants to do it. Whether he ever puts him out or not is his business. Do I have to agree? No, I don't. But I rock with him. I rock with that man. So however he's doing it, I'm riding. It don't matter. I don't need to understand. I'm riding. I don't care. Oh, you, you I got to understand. Why, why, who the fuck do I think I am that I need to understand why he's doing shit the way he's doing it? So, so, so Deontay Wilder must stop doing everything the way he's doing it to explain to me or anybody else. For what? For what? But listening to y'all on the internet, you would think that you dictate this man's career, you dictate this man's life, that he's got to, he owes you, that he's got to stop there and explain to you why he's doing well, the way he's living his life, he's got to explain to you. But I don't see any of you motherfuckers explaining to nobody why the fuck you're living your life the way you're living it. I don't see it. But y'all will sit up this motherfucker and criticize that man. Now again, I don't have to agree. I don't. I don't have to see what he's doing. But I rock with that man. So we riding, period. Number two favorite fighter of all, of everybody boxing right now, Devin the Dream Haney. I don't have to agree with everything he says at all. I, ask this, I tell this man, bro, you can't just stand there with Tank Davis. The man tells me, let's see. Fuck you mean, let's see. No, I don't agree. I don't agree with that at all. I don't agree. All right, I understand you got a warrior spirit and a warrior's mentality, but there is no reason to try to stand with this man and take shots to just to see if you can take it. That's stupid to me. I don't agree. You're a master boxer. You're a superior boxer. Rock out. Rock. That's what you need to do. Champ picks. Uh, he says, bro, it's going to be a close fight between, Dev, uh, between Tank and Ryan. I don't agree either. Now, I understand you fought, this, you fought Ryan six times in the amateurs and y'all split three and three, but that's a whole different story. Yeah, it's a whole different story in the amateurs. Whole different story. All right, now I get it. A, a win is a win. You got three over him, he got three over you. I get it. So you can say, well, you know, um, um, I, I don't know how this was going to play out. You know what I'm saying? It could potentially go either way, blah, blah, blah. Well, I don't think he said that. But still, I don't have to agree. I don't even know what he's looking at. But I was never in the ring with Ryan Garcia. He was six times. Right? So I don't know what he's looking at. I don't need to agree with him at all. I don't need to agree. The man just recently said that he wouldn't agree to a rehydration clause if he fought Tank Davis. I don't agree with that either. You're the B-side, champ. You're my second favorite fighter in all the sport of boxing. You're the B-side. That man puts a rehydration clause in there. You're the B-side. I don't agree. But I'm not him. I'm not in his life. I'm not in his shoes. You know what I'm saying? I just, I feel like, bro, if that's the fight you want, 
and and he's giving you this, well, take it. And I don't even think he said um, he wouldn't take a rehydration clause. It was just something that came out to make it seem like he wouldn't. When you was willing to do everything else to make that fight, but then again, he was willing to do everything else in a boxing mindset, not necessarily um, a physical mindset. You know, he was willing to drop belts and shit like that. And even that, I didn't agree with. I didn't agree with that shit. You are the undisputed champion of the world. Now, you said you was willing to drop those belts to fight Tank. To fight Tank. I don't agree with that shit. I think Tank should be trying to fight you for all the belts. I don't fucking agree with you. Well, you ain't going to drop the belts. I don't agree with that. I don't need to understand. I don't need... He wanted that fight. I'm not living his life. Right? That's what he wanted to do. I'm just here watching greatness. All right? I don't agree that he should stay at 135. I don't fucking agree. At all. I understand you. these motherfuckers is talking shit and you like, well, I'm not going nowhere till I get the tank fight or if these guys want it, then we could get it. I'll, fight, I'll get the Shakur fight and the Frank Martin fight and blah, blah, blah. I understand it. And the Coast Law Davis, I get it. I get the machismo and shit. I understand. I don't agree. You are fucking killing yourself. Well, not killing yourself, but you're like looking bad, draining yourself down. You look bad on the scales against Bozo because you're a big guy now. You're still growing. You should be at 140. So I don't agree of him staying there. I don't, me, I don't agree. But I rock with that man. I rock with Devin Haney. Heavy. If Devin wants to rock out 135 and that's where he wants to do, well, BF is riding. But I don't agree. I don't, I don't see that Devin needs to stay at 135 to fight Shakur. Because Shakur didn't stay at one motherfucking 26 to fight Gary Russell. But Devin got to do something that Shakur didn't do. I don't agree. I don't agree that Devin needs to stay and fight Tank at 135. I don't agree. Tank fought at 140 against Mario Berrios. There should be no reason why he can't fight Devin at 140. No reason. No reason. I don't agree. But that's what Devin wants. So I'm riding. I'm riding. All right? I rock. I'm, team, I'm dream team. I'm team Devin. I'm riding. My, my third favorite fighter... Of all, one of the faces of boxing. My third favorite fighter in boxing right now, Errol Spence. My third favorite fighter. Man, Errol be out here fucking giving this nigga Terrence Crawford all kinds of fucking outs and avenues and approaches. Giving this man all kinds of shit. You circling the box for what? Fuck that nigga, bro. Circling the box. For what? I don't agree. No, I don't agree. You gave this man everything he wanted and the man said he agreed to it. Then just to go on to fight somebody else. Motherfucker talk about you aging Terrence Crawford out, um, blah, 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 all this other goofy ass shit. No one told this nigga to fight Ambrosia. Motherfuckers is making all the excuses about, oh man, he gotta get paid. He ain't broke. This man was guaranteed $3 million per fight. He spent all of his money that fast. He's not broke. That man is still a millionaire. The fuck we talking about? Then he just get $100,000 with a jewelry stolen from him or some shit like that. They broke into his house and Bernie was downstairs, didn't even go upstairs to see what was going on. Bernie living in the basement didn't do shit. But yet we worried about, oh man, he got to get paid. No, no, I don't give a fuck. I don't care. Give a fuck if this nigga gets paid. Man, give me the best fight and the best. I don't give a fuck if this nigga gets paid. I don't care. I'm not over here. Damn, man. Man, he got paid, man. I'm so happy. I'm the fuck this nigga. I don't care. I don't, I don't, I don't agree to Errol Smith. I don't agree. I don't agree. Giving this man chance after chance after chance. While he's fucking you over. No, I don't agree. Then you out here say, well, you know, Terrence Croft is a good fighter. You know, he's a good... While wow, he's out here shitting on you. I don't agree. No, I don't. Don't agree at all. You should have been moved up. I don't agree of you fucking weight draining yourself just to stay at 147 so that you can get undisputed when this man is pussyfooting around trying to put you in the most inopportune position as possible. Fuck that. I don't agree. At all. I don't agree that you saying Canelo Alvarez is the face of boxing. I don't agree because he's getting paid. I don't agree. And I am Errol Spence man down over here. I don't agree. Fuck Canelo Alvarez. I don't agree. He's not the face of boxing because he's getting paid. I don't agree. I don't even see what you see in that. But again, I'm an Errol. I'm riding. I don't need to agree. I don't need to agree with his stance. He's a grown ass man. It's his takes. It's his, that's his life. All right. I don't need to agree. I don't even see what you're seeing. You are a bigger name than Canelo Alvarez. More people talk about Errol Spence than Canelo Alvarez. 
It just is what it is. But whatever, whatever. I I don't agree. All right, I don't agree. I I I, I whatever. I'm like hell no. The fuck hell no. I'm tired of my favorite fighters giving everybody else fucking opportunities for my, that that nobody wants to give them. Keith Thurman didn't have this type of fucking energy that Errol Spence is getting. He didn't have none of this shit. Motherfuckers were shitting on Errol Spence when Keith Thurman was in Errol Spence's position. They still shit. They shit on Errol Spence on both sides, and this man is out here giving everybody fucking opportunity. No, fuck that. You're giving everybody opportunity. If I'm in Errol Spence's shoes, man, I ain't giving you shit. I'm not giving, I'm giving you the same energy you gave me. That's what I'm giving you. Errol Spence said, I ain't never fighting this guy. And fuck this nigga, never fighting this guy. Yet he's being forced to fight this man. And Keith Thurman said, oh, I'm, I'll, I'll fight him. It's a get back year for me. I'll fight, I'll fight him next year. It's a get back year. Next year, it's a get back year. Next year, it's a get back, a uh, get back de decade. And nobody forced this man to fight Errol Spence. And he's been on the same side of the street all this time. No one forced Keith Thurman to fight Errol Spence, but Errol Spence is getting forced to fight Keith Thurman. Fuck this nigga. I'd be at 154 right now. Cementing my legacy, worried about my legacy, just like if I'm Devin Haney. Man, fuck Tank, bro. You don't want to fight me? Fuck you, then, nigga. You don't want to? I'm out. I'm going to 140. I'm worried about my legacy, my career. I'm submitting my stance. You go ahead and keep doing what you're doing. You niggas go ahead and play around with, 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 in, in the pond that I already swam around and pissed in and then left. Now y'all go ahead and swim around it and I'm out. That's what I would do if I'm Devin, but I'm not. That's what I would do if I was Errol Spence, but I'm not. My next favorite fighter, Giovanni Tank Davis. Bro, I don't agree with this man. But I rock with him. I don't, I don't agree with him talk, talk, Him and his team talking about we will starve Devin now. What kind of goofy ass shit is this? I don't agree with these motherfuckers. Oh, man, shit. Well, you know, I, I, I'm going to fight Garcia, then Garcia. Then, you know, I'll, I'll, before that, I'm going to fight some other Mexican. Before that, I'm going to fight some other Latino guy. Before that, I'm going to fight another Latino guy. Before that, I'm going to fight another Latino guy. I don't agree with that shit. No, why, why, why can't the niggas get a chance? But then we, we, my fucking Mayweather team, and he was with Mayweather, then they come out talk about, you know, this is for the culture, this is for the culture, blah, 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 all this goofy ass talk. I don't agree with, I don't agree with y'all. I don't. I don't agree with y'all. I don't see what y'all see. Y'all talk about this is for the culture, but then y'all go out and fighting people that ain't the culture. What the fuck we doing? You say it's for the culture, but you're giving the non-culture a bag. How come you don't give the culture a bag? Tevin Farmer could have got a bag. Gary Russell could have got a bag. Devin Haney could get a bag. Shakur Stevenson can get a bag. How come those guys can't get a bag? Frank Martin, how come none of these guys can get a bag? But we, oh, we got to do this for the culture. Puto Tito 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 Ramirez. Lamar Chamberlain Gonzalez. Consuerez, Consuerez, Jamanitos, Avocados, Camalamos, Ramirez. Man, get the fuck out of here, man. I don't agree. I don't agree. And motherfuckers out here capping for this shit. Oh, uh, well, you know, we're going to get a knockout. It's going to be exciting. Man, fuck that. I don't care. You're fighting some fucking bum that don't nobody know about until you fight them. And then all of a sudden, there's somebody. They ain't shit before you fight them. And now all of a sudden, there's somebody. I don't agree. Don't. But I fuck with Tank. But I can tell you what I don't agree with at all. I don't fucking agree at all i don't agree not even close to agree. not even close but you're getting paid that's fine get your bag i ain't got no pre no beef with you getting your bag i ain't got no beef none you're just not going to get it on my account you're not getting your bag out of my paycheck that's just not what's happening you're a filthy rich you're a millionaire rock on i rock with you I'm just not, I'm just not, you're not going to throw shit in my face and, and, and just be like, man, you should just take that because it came from me. Just take that shit, man. It came from me. You say you rock with me. Just take this piece of shit. It came from, no, I do rock with you. I do. I'm going to support you. I'm going to talk positive about you when it's time to talk positive about you like I do for all the fighters I rock with. But when you're wrong, you're wrong. And I'm going to talk about that too. Just is what it is, man. It just is what it is. Shakur Stevenson. I rock with Shakur Stevenson. All right, I rock with Shakur. But come on, dog. 
Come on, dog. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. You don't have the same energy for Devin that you have for other people. Oh, I sent a contract to Pitbull. Why is Wilms Zapata? I sent one. Oh, and, and you know, and I I, I went, went to Gambosa, Cam Gambosas, all these guys. I, I sent contract to. We sent contract to these guys. And then when it comes to Devin Haney, it's like, well, we'll see. Fuck you, mean we'll see. Why didn't you? Why aren't you going to, to top rank headquarters asking him for a fourth option? Why the fuck does Devin gotta go ask for a fourth option for you? Come on, man! And then y'all motherfuckers come to me like, oh no, 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 Devin, he's scared. What the fuck, we talking about? Devin went to top rank for a fourth option. Why didn't Shakur do it? Isn't he the one that wants to fight Devin? Aren't y'all running around here saying that Devin is ducking Shakur? So why didn't Shakur go to top rank for a fourth option for Devin Haney? Why didn't Shakur do that? Don't even get me started on Terrence Crawford. Y'all already know what it's hitting for. You already know. Y'all know what it's hitting for, bro. You know. Jerron Boots Ennis, bro. I rock with Boots, bro. I rock with Boots Heavy. But you told the world you'll fight this man in his mother's house, and then you get an opportunity, and nothing. Nothing. No, you, you go a whole different route. And, and, and then y'all coming out saying, well, why didn't we get the call? Fuck you mean, why didn't you get the call? You were on a phone call with this nigga. You were on the phone with him. What do you mean, why didn't we get the call to fight? You was on a phone call to fight him. But don't nobody would. I don't agree with that, bro. I don't agree with that. I don't agree at all. I rock with Boots, man. He's in my intro. He ain't going nowhere. That man's a special fighter. I don't agree with that. Shakur Stevenson is a special fighter, bro. That man is a power pound fighter. Easy. I don't agree with that move that you're not pressing for Dev. You talking for Dev in the public, but you ain't pressing for Dev when you can. When you're in a position to get it. And, and was in a position to get it. You're not pressing. Man, I rock with Tank Heavy, but you're the ace out to everybody, bro. I don't agree with you moving the way you're moving. I don't agree. But you're the ace out to everybody. Meaning you should be fighting the fights that we all as fans are asking you to fight. Ain't nobody asking you to fight no Hector Garcia. Man, you've been trying to fight uh, uh, motherfucking, what's his name, Ryan Garcia since 20 what? 17, 16, uh, 18, some shit like this? That man ducked you multiple times, pulled out of fights multiple times, talking about he fighting Manny Pacquiao. Yet here he is again with another shot. But no niggas getting a shot. I don't agree, bro. I don't agree. And I can go on and on and on about the things I don't agree with. But I still rock with them all. And I will always rock with them. As long as they are trying to do, give me the best fights, as long as they're trying to give me the best fights, I will rock with them, period. Because I am BFTB. All right, I am BFTB. I will rock with them heavy. BFTB, shout to the mighty, mighty LDBC, and I'm out.